Hello, this is Rohit Sushabhi. Welcome to Drug Today Medical Times. We have Dr. Devika Nair. She is from London. She is lipidologist. And we are going to ask her that there are children who suffer heart attacks in very early age. In India, there, there have been a study that it is, has been found that children from 14 to 18 have a, uh, problems of heart disease. They are prone to heart attacks in future. So she will tell that how can we diagnose them, how can we educate them so they do not suffer from heart attacks in later stage. There are two issues here. One is a condition which you inherit from your parents, which is called familial hypercholesterolemia. We know in the world there is the prevalence of familial hypercholesterolemia is around one in five hundred. But I feel that it may be higher for the Indians. We may have familial hypercholesterolemia, 1 in 250, 1 in 300, because Dr. Puri et al. conducted a study on 2,500 children, and he found seven children with high cholesterol, which could classify as familial hypercholesterolemia. So you can say that there may be a higher prevalence here. If you have familial hypercholesterolemia, what it means is that one of the genes that helps you to clear the cholesterol is defective. Right? You inherit one gene from the father, one gene from the mother. And if it happens to be that the father and the mother have the abnormal genes and they inherit both abnormal genes, they get high cholesterol from the time they're born to a level of around 500, 600 milligrams in the uh, per liter, uh, per deciliter in the blood, which means that they carry this cholesterol load throughout their life and they start getting uh, heart attacks in their teenage years. So by 10, 11, they have heart attacks. Some of them have needed to have bypass surgery. Some of them die and uh, it'll be in the family. So it may be more than one member of the family who have the heart attack. So these children have to be protected from getting a heart attack. So what can we do? So early diagnosis. So if there is a history of high cholesterol in the family, we need to screen the children. So uh, encourage the family to go for a cholesterol test if the father or mother has high cholesterol and have had heart attack especially. When you screen the children, they have to be treated early as well. Then you can prevent the heart attack. Cholesterol treatment is very easy. It's just taking a statin. It's a safe medication. We have tried and tested it for 30, 40 years. So they can take the medication, lower the cholesterol, prevent a heart attack. Again, one more issue with our Indian population is that consanguinity, which is marrying relatives, is very common. So if you have a family with high cholesterol and you get married into a family with high cholesterol, the risk of having a child with high cholesterol is very high. So if you look at all the reports in the literature from India, most of the children are born of consanguineous marriage, which means the relatives are married. For example, in Jewish population, what we have seen is that when they have a high incidence of inherited problems, they get tested before they marry. Maybe what we should advise uh, get people is that if they have a condition of high cholesterol in the family, test and then get married so that you can prevent a baby born with a very, very high cholesterol. And that's very important for our population to understand. Being aware of uh, you know these risk factors, cholesterol, uh, uh, high fat food, which they are going after school to go and buy from uh, you know to, from the pizza place kentucky mcdonald's and all that and to uh, help them to choose healthy snacks you know we have a lot of healthy snacks uh, which uh, you know which we can cook at home and the parents should be encouraged to give cooked food rather than going and buying the ready-made meal and it should from come from the school too the teachers should take some interest in teaching uh, children uh, uh, healthy food probably some cooking classes uh, uh, in school should be part of that and therefore uh, you know they can be taught uh, uh, you know how to cook healthy food 
and they can be shown how to read the labels, you know, what it contains, how much of fat in each of the food, how much of uh, calories in each of the food. So they should be taught to look at the labels in each of Most of the food items have labels.